Sick. Hello, hi. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Photo Opportunity. I'm Chris Bell, and uh, I'm going to teach you photography. This is my camera. All of this is is a box, and there's a simple magnifying glass lens at the front. And if I point it over here, there is a perfectly good image right. of the makeup mirror at the back of the skin. Now. A modern camera may not look exactly like that, but it's a box, it's got a lens at the front, it makes an image that falls onto a piece of film or a digital chip, and you can make an image. So, let's go and do it. Now there's Fantastic. a shot, you see. Don't move! Yeah. <laughs> Be gentle. I am being gentle. I mean, and half of photography is seen. If you haven't seen the thing, you can't photograph it. Yeah. Well, let me focus in on the sky. Uh, so basically, I'm just fiddling with, with buttons and things to try and uh, let, it, let me take a picture. Ah, there we go. There's a shot there. I mean, the li actually, the light up there is very nice as well. Stuart, shift your ass. This is my oh, shot. Let's get the shot, man. <laughs> File browse. And these are the images you took for a first effort. Hey, look, quite interesting. You've done this before, haven't you, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a focus problem. We've not focused on anything, but the general shape is quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Again, focus problems mm -hmm. and camera shape, but the light levels, again, were so low. But you get this idea. There was a severe focus problem. <laughs> yes, well, again, it was, too dark. it was too dark, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think it is. Because, mm. in a way, her that leg Echoes, echoes the co exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sort of, it's a, it's genius. <laughs> okay, so that should print A4 portrait centered. Okay. Wow, that's cool. As images, I think they're great. Technically, they're terrible. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and if the light had been better, it would have been a great shot. Because that is actually a very nice shot. Mm. And if you saw that on an album cover, it was some better. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that well, that's, really what, that's nice. what we were learning today, yeah. first of all, wasn't that's it? Amazing. It was learning to see something yeah. and get it in yeah. your, your viewfinder. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I already feel as though I could like, maybe spot a picture yeah. <laughs> better than I could you know, Great. before well, the lessons. Like. Yeah. So, Chris, what you're saying is I mean, the most important thing is, is to learn to see something. So, I mean, see an image before you photograph it. Absolutely. One that's worth both. Yeah. And the technical stuff could come later. Yeah, in a way. I, it's, um, Technical is nice to get it right, but it, as I said on the film, there, it was very much against us on that day. The light was a bit yeah. low. And, yeah, but yeah. I think it's the most important thing in photography is to see an image. Yeah. And it's a very different process to just seeing with your human eye. Yeah. It's uh, like hunting and shooting, isn't it? Let's, let's look at some of what we thought were the best pictures that you took on a difficult day, which we agreed. We'll, we'll yeah. start with you, Stu. Okay. Uh, I really like that. We, we thought that was the best one, so that's why we've really blown it up. Real kind of industrial yeah. chic. Yeah, it's, it's quite interesting as well, because talking about going and hunting pictures and things, yeah. This, this one was almost an accidental one for me, because mm. um, I thought it was going to be too dark, but I just thought, you know, I'll take the picture anyway. Yeah. Mm. And it, it seems to have worked out pretty well. So. And you've got one with you there, which we're, yep. we're going to flash up on the screen as well, which you think was a, kind of a good number two for him. Yep, this is uh, another one. Oh, the two. water shot. Oh, the yep. canal. The canal. Yeah. That is nice. That's very yeah. nice. The lighting's well, great on that. Because what he's seen is not only the tree, but the reflection mm. of the tree. The reflection of the tree is just as important as the tree itself. Yeah. yeah. And you've got a nice line through here. I mean. Yeah, and, you saw, and, you, and you saw all that, did you? You, you thought, oh, yeah, the reflection works, the, or were you lucky? Um, I, I actually <laughs> think I was going for the reflection, and this was towards the end of the shoot when we had a few pointers and yeah. things, so... Good start, OK. Yeah. Mm. Shell? That, well, that one's... That was self portrait. obviously a self-portrait. Yeah, it was How did you first. get... It's like you hold, you're literally it, like, holding out the camera. I took my first photography lesson. I like documenting people going through things. I did it through my dissertation as well. I took photos each day as I got tighter and tighter. So that's <laughs> me looking quite tired, but a bit messy, yeah. on my first photography lesson. Your face... You're, you're, you're concentrating, concentrating so hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. kind of my first picture. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What do you think about that one, Chris? I think it's terrific. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, especially as a self-portrait holding the camera. Yeah. You know, she's she's reaching out to herself, isn't she? It's in great. In fact, she is in, if you can notice here, there is a little V-shape, the edge of the wall of the canal mm -hmm. and the edge of the towpath, mm -hmm. all bring your eye yeah. up to her face. You're absolutely yeah. right, yes. Now, whether that's luck or judgment... Was I'd that like luck or judgment? Blind luck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blind luck. Yeah. Show, show us one of Shell's other ones. This is also a terrific picture. What is I that? Think. 
It's uh, the stairs down to the canal near my ah. studio. Well, it's that ladder loser around the corner. That's his tag. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. you've got a. It's just. Just the lines here, and mm. all again lead your eye to this little fella here. Yep. Yeah. A total member of the public just walking by, yep. and she just captured him right at that moment. Do you know, I think that's Lord Lucan. <laughs> <laughs> that would be luck. No, that's good, I agree. It's nice. Nice angles yep. and planes. Very good. good. All right, nice start, Shell. Uh, Dan. Mm -hmm. So this, this must be yours. Yeah. Oh, it's the, well, the weir. I think Lots that's of, really that's good. That's a great picture, and in colour. Lots of movement there, isn't there? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this was part of the exercise because most amateurs just use their cameras um, on fully automatic mode. Mm. But I was trying to get them in the limited time available to use the cameras to their full potential. Mm. And that means playing with things like shutter speed and aperture. And if you set your shutter speed long, you capture movement. Mm. And here you've got water running over a little weir there by the lock. And the water is, in fact, just a smooth mist of water mm. because uh, he's set the... Uh, the, uh, app, the shutter for so a long time and it's captured that the movement. movement. So that was deliberate then, that wasn't an accident, that was a deliberate technical attempt to get that effect. Um, well again it's trial and error because, sure, sure. because we've no idea. But you knew what you were trying so to do is yes, what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. And give us his number two then. This is number two which is a very nicely seen piece of graphic design which in the end of the day is what photography comes down to. Mm. We've yeah. got um, looking down some lovely strong lines, this very strong line here um, it's a nice piece of graphics, piece of minimalism. Oh, well done, class. What do you, I mean, excellent. what do you, Chris, think that um, is the most interesting thing to photograph? You talk about graphic design, and that's what photography comes down to. But what about people, humans, faces, all of that? Absolutely, the, the same thing. But if you just snap away at somebody, just stick them in the middle of your viewfinder, mm. it, it might work, it might not. But if you can look a little harder mm. and try and arrange your person so that the background somehow leads your eye up, to the person in exactly the same way that Shell's pictures yeah. work yeah. there. Well, that's a good it example. It makes a much more fulfilling picture. All right. Okay. Well, thank you for well, getting us started, sir, and okay. uh, well done, thank team. Thank you very much. Cheers.